Welcome back to the Star Bazaar, ladies and gentlemen, and to another Battlefront 2 Hero Tips video. In this one, we are going over some of the unique abilities that some of the heroes in Battlefront 2 have, which can be used to your advantage. These aren't the typical abilities like Luke's Push or Vader's Choke, but more like special effects that some heroes have, or an additional effect to one of their abilities that isn't the main or intended use. I call these advanced hero tips, but if you've been playing the game for a while, you probably know most of these by now. If you find any of these tips helpful though, let me know in a comment and hit that thumbs up button to let me know. If you're a new viewer here at the Bazaar, welcome. I'm glad you found your new favorite Battlefront 2 channel. Besides tips and tricks, we also do news updates and discussion pieces on the game. So if you like what you see, consider subscribing and joining us for more Battlefront 2 videos. Also, before I forget to announce it in any video at all, we now have a merch store. If you're interested in supporting the Star Bazaar, check out some of the designs below. You'll find a side-scrolling menu just below the video which links to our Teespring storefront. Check out the threads and consider picking something up. I'll probably be grabbing a hoodie for myself here in a little bit. But with all the plugs out of the way, let's check out these hero tips, starting with my main man Luke Skywalker and his force jump. A lot of you will already know this one, but for those who don't, Luke's Force Push ability, while a powerful one-shot tool against infantry, can also be used to double Luke's jump height. If you jump and then use the push in midair, you'll get a second Force Power jump that lets Luke get to places he otherwise couldn't get to. You can use this to get away from trouble, get to an enemy just out of reach, or just see what the vertical limits of the map are. It's a useful tool, but the kicker is that the push must be used in the air. If you're grounded, it won't work. Also, I once thought that you had to be aiming the camera downwards for this to work, as if you're pushing against the air to give yourself more height. Not the case. You can be looking in any direction and it will still boost you upwards. Next tip is in regard to Darth Vader's focused rage and Rey's insight abilities. Both of these abilities give Vader and Rey, respectively, twice as much stamina to attack and defend with, and give either bonus damage in the case of Vader or radar hacks in the case of Rey. A neat feature with these abilities though is that the activation animation can be bypassed while still activating the ability. If you activate either ability at the same time you do a regular attack, the ability's effects will still take place, but the animation gets skipped due to the fact that you were swinging your lightsaber. This is good for throwing off your opponents who could be looking for the animation to know when you activate it. To their eyes, you'll just be smoothly attacking and they won't know when the ability goes up. Give it a shot next time you try either Rey or Vader. Master Yoda is now one of the most powerful heroes in the game ever since he got a block. His small size makes him hard to hit, and sometimes your best bet is to stun him. Unfortunately for stunners, Yoda has the ability to break out of stuns with his presence ability. The ability itself not only grants Yoda and his team bonus health, it also frees him from the effects of abilities that stun him. Palpatine's Electrocute, Iden's Droid, Kylo's Freeze, Vader's Choke. Yoda can break out of all of it using Presence. If you're up against stunners, a good tip with Yoda is to save his Presence ability for when he gets hit by one of these stuns. That way, you can break out and counterattack. This next one took me a while to figure out. If you played Battlefront 2015 before Battlefront 2, You'll know that Han Solo has two similar abilities in both games, Rapid Fire in 2015 and Sharpshooter in Battlefront 2. Both turn Han's DL-44 into a fast-firing weapon of destruction, except in 2015, the ability was semi-automatic, meaning the shots only came as fast as you could pull the trigger. In Battlefront 2, the ability is fully automatic, meaning all you have to do is hold down the trigger and the shots will be fired automatically. This makes using the ability so much easier, since all you have to do is point and shoot. You don't have to worry about lining up every shot, because as long as you're aiming well, chances are all the shots will land anyway. For the longest time, I used this ability like it was in 2015, semi-auto, with me frantically hitting the trigger to get the shots off as fast as possible. This affected my aim, but once I learned it was full auto, it became so much easier to use. Give it a try next time. With the right star cards, this ability absolutely melts enemy villains. Ah, how the mighty have fallen. Back on the topic of Battlefront 2015, Aiden's Pulse Cannon took a bit of a hit compared to its 2015 counterpart. Weaker damage output despite the charge up time, and most people find this ability very difficult to aim. 
I did myself for the longest time, and unless you're fighting at crazy long ranges like on Hoth or Crate, I don't recommend using this ability. But I have found the sweet spot where Iden's pulse shots land. It's right at the tip of the middle of the reticle. The further away the target is, the more accurate your shot will be too, which is why I only recommend using it at range. The damage output is just also too weak, even against infantry for even mid-range. But if you're at distance, practice lining up right on the tip of the reticle and your shots should land better. Leia definitely drew the short straw with her abilities it seems, they just are not really up to par with other abilities in the game. Her shield though is actually pretty good even though it's a fairly underused ability in most cases. It has way more health than the officer's shield and it has uses in HVV too. It can in fact block lightsaber throws from both Darth Vader and Darth Maul, making it effective against ranged opponents. It won't block force powers, but it could still save you in a pinch, so definitely try fighting within the shield when possible. Only somebody as smooth as Lando can pull this one off. His smoke grenade ability gets little love, but it's actually more useful than people give it credit for. While Lando's trump card is definitely his disabler, his smoke is powerful in its own right. When fighting within the smoke, it becomes virtually impossible for a lightsaber villain to land a shot on Lando. The smoke completely cancels out any and all saber lock-ons, so if the villain is trying madly to swing on Lando, they'll just be swinging at smoke while Lando ducks around and shoots them. Try it when the disabler is on cooldown, it can really save you in a tight spot. If you play Chewbacca a lot, you'll probably know this, but Chewie can control the spread of his bowcaster in several different ways. By default, the bowcaster fires three bolts in a horizontal spread, and with Furious Bowcaster active, it fires five bolts. Well, Chewie can actually make the horizontal spread vertical by aiming down his sights. This changes the way the bolts fire and is actually better for taking on single enemies at a time, since if you line it up right, you can one-shot infantry with simultaneous shots to the body and head, causing massive damage. Quick tip though, this does not engage the zoomed sensitivity. You will still technically be hip firing, it merely changes the spread shape. Besides making the spread vertical, Chewie can also increase the number of bolts by holding down the trigger for a moment before releasing it. This gives Chewie 5 bolts total, as if he activated Furious Bowcaster without actually activating it. On top of this, if you hold the zoom button down while doing this, the spread will tighten into a 5 shot burst that causes huge damage. If Furious Bowcaster is ever on cooldown, you can still achieve a similar effect by doing this. Give it a try next time you use Chewie. The last tip for the video is about Kylo Ren, and this isn't so much a special ability as it is a privilege that only Kylo enjoys. Most of the time, when you use a force power, you must be grounded. Luke's Repulse, Vader's Choke, Yoda's Unleash, all require you to be standing on the ground before you use it. Luke's Force Push, as I mentioned in the very first tip, is the only other force power that can be used in the air, but Kylo has two. Both Kylo's Pull and Freeze can be used while jumping, giving Kylo an advantage over most other Force-sensitive heroes. Not even Anakin Skywalker can use his pull while he's jumping, only Kylo can. Any force power you do has an animation which takes time. A lot of the time you have to be holding still, like with Obi-Wan's push, which makes you an easy target. By jumping and doing force powers, you are no longer an easy target. You can pull off the force power and not have to leave yourself open. This makes Kylo's powers a little more advantageous than most in most cases, since you can safely use them without worrying about taking damage yourself. Kylo's force abilities seem to have longer cooldowns than most too, and I think this is why. If you're having trouble pulling off the freeze or pull with Kylo, try jumping and doing it. You just might see a little more success. But with that, that is it for today's Battlefront 2 tips and tricks video. Those are 9 solid tips to help you up your hero game just a little bit. What did you think? Did you know any of these tips already? Did you learn something new? If so, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button for me and let me know which tip you found most useful in the comments below. Also, if you have any tips of your own, feel free to share them down below too. Just like with my advanced lightsaber tips series, if this video receives well and there are more tips to be shared from you guys, I just might do more of these videos. That's going to do it for this one though. I appreciate you all stopping by the bazaar. This has been your boy Turkish Delight and I'll see you all out on the battlefront. Peace.